Welcome to Super Tuesday. It is presented by Progressive. It is the SEC on ESPN on the campus of Mississippi State University, Starkville, Mississippi. Here come them dogs down the stairs onto the court where they will greet the visiting cats. It's dogs and cats, the game of the night in college basketball, and certainly the atmosphere of the night. And so much is on the line. Take a look at the standings, and they have gotten bunched here the last couple of weeks. Tennessee and Alabama now tied, and Kentucky, consider in fifth place, could finish as high as first and as low as 10th, depending on how things play out. Alongside Jimmy Dykes, I'm Carl Ravitch. Welcome, everyone. This is Humphrey Coliseum. It's the place to be. Marty Smith joins us in a moment. Why has this game become so critical in this conference? Well, because the, the, right now it's a NASCAR race to the finish in the SEC. Man, it is loaded up. A league is going to have seven, eight, maybe nine teams yeah. in that NCAA tournament. Kentucky always chasing an SEC title, and they're within reach of it right now. But, man, another huge midweek test for Kentucky coming off of a big win against Alabama where they, man, 117 points. Not going to happen tonight, Ravi. Mississippi State's defense is way too good. It's grown men for Mississippi State on the floor, especially on the defensive end. Edwards was phenomenal for Kentucky on Saturday. Kind of a breakout game for the star freshman. Tolu Smith, a lot of folks thought he would be the SEC preseason player of the year. Finally back healthy. A monster matchup again in the SEC on Tuesday. All right, so it'll be Tolu Smith who wins the tap. Mississippi State, home white. This kid is special, Josh Hubbard. He's a freshman. In fact, both freshmen of the week are on the floor in this game. And the first shot missed on a layup, and here comes Kentucky, as Jimmy said. Edwards had 28. Kentucky scored 117 against Alabama. Wagner, Reeves, Fierro, and Onyenso join Edwards. They got six on the shot clock. Wagner, who struggled to find a shot, gives it to Fierro. And a three around and out. Yeah, Kentucky's 117 points, more than any NBA team scored on Saturday. That's how good they were on the offensive end. Smith, quick give, and they kick it back out. Jones fires, got it. Ravi, that's a good start. Considering Mississippi State only makes about seven three-point shots per game, that is bonus for Chris Chans and Skies early. John Jones, sophomore, 6'5", 205 out of Houston, Texas. Wagner tries. That's huge. Ron Wagner knocks down a three. He had not made more than one shot in any of his last four or five games. That's a big one to start. Hubbard with a no look, and it was deflected by Fierro. Ball on the ground. There's a scrum for it in the hands of Tolu, and Tolu Smith lays it up and in. I thought Hubbard turned down a pretty good look at that SEC logo. And Tolu Smith is such a big, active, agile kid for a seven-footer to go down and pick it up off the ground. Not an easy play. Wagner, that's going to be a foul on Shaquille Moore, the senior 6-1. Grants run of NC State. You know, the early three so far, you see Jones. Again, he shot a bad pass, but the defense was so far off he could recover. To your point about DJ Wagner, missed his last 12 three-point shots coming in. That's the, that, that is his swing skill going forward in terms of how high his ceiling is as a player. Can't leave that guy open for long. Reeves, three, around and out. The kid with the ball is the primary focus of Kentucky's defense. He was one for 11 in Rupp Arena, coming off of a monster game over the weekend. Tolu Smith hard to the basket, no good. Good rip rebound by Edwards, and they will run. Piero, he walked with it. Jimmy, this is going to be for people at home. Sort of a battle of who wins the pace game, right? Kentucky and Cal want to do what? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, Cal wants to turn this thing into a NASCAR race. The more laps he can get over the next 40 minutes, the better off his chances are. And Chris Jans told us today he's going to play call every single possession in this game to try to keep his possessions in that low 60s. Moore is a lefty. He goes to his right and finds Matthews. Bounce pass baseline, they get it to Smith. 
Big body against big too body. Strong. That's a chance for three. Absolutely too strong. And it all starts by the passing ability of Cam Matthews, one of the better glue guys in this league. And Tolu Smith did not start the last two games. Chris Jans lighting a fire under his rear end. He has responded early. And if it becomes a chest game in terms of C-H-E-S-T, his chest through your chest, mm. one in white's going to win. 6'11", 245 out of Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. At 19 off the bench against LSU. Shaquille Moore steps out of the game. Deshaun Davis is in now for Mississippi State. Reed Shepard on the floor, as is Rob Dillingham for Kentucky. Both teams go to the bench, and a three-point play is not converted. Mississippi State only 61% as a team from that free throw line. And those kind of numbers can cost you in a close game. Instant offense, zero in blue. Onyensu, the handoff to Wagner, and he threw it out of bounds. Ravi, that's a big physical Mississippi State defensive team. So far, they are winning the line of scrimmage as Chris Jans' team in the ball screen defense. Shocking the ball, impacting the ball, knocking it out, not letting those Kentucky guards turn the corner. Jans' team has won five games in a row, albeit against the lesser teams in the SEC. Schedule moving forward is not an easy one for Mississippi State. They seem to like this matchup, and Smith Works his way for an easy bucket. Onyenso cannot handle Tolu Smith on that low block. And Tolu Smith knows it. He's not bothered by the length, and he has more strength. Calipari going to his bench again. Three substitutes ready to come in, including Big Z. Dillingham, good look to Fierro. That's short, and Smith is playing inspired ball early. Fierro's the one guy Mississippi State's not afraid to help off of. Hubbard, long three, he got fouled by Dillingham, and that's three free throws. Coming up for Josh Hubbard, an 83% free throw shooter. Well, Hubbard is a 5'10 shooting guard, but he has great height on his jump shot. I mean, for a 5'10 kid, Ravi, he's, his release point is probably about the same as Dalton Connect at Tennessee, who's 6'6". Mm. Antonio, Antonio Reeves at Kentucky, 6'6". Kid's got a lot of pop, man. The state of Mississippi's all-time leading scorer was an Ole Miss commit, and when Kermit Davis parted ways with Ole Miss, Hubbard parted ways with Ole Miss as well, and he ends up here playing for state. And to come in as a freshman and lead Mississippi State in the old team in shots taken, points, it says a lot about Josh Hubbard. From day one, he's been a very humble, hardworking, only talks when he's supposed to type guy. No arrogance about this kid. And this older team has really embraced 13 in white. 44 in blue is Vladimir Ivisic, Big Z. The 7 2, 234 pounder is into the game for Kentucky. DJ Jeffries also into the game, and the first blow has been delivered by Mississippi State. A 9-0 run. Terrific passer, terrific shooter, 44. Obviously can rebound and block shots. Defense is the issue. Edwards missed the layup. His first miss in two games after that perfection he had the other night. There's the block by Ivisic. Stays alive. Hubbard fires. Ooh. Halfway down and out. Look at Dillingham drive. Ivisic looks short. It is. Did not follow the shot. The home team has been really good. Building a wall and stopping the ball against Kentucky's transition. Now they go to the floor to flash. Constant play calls by Mississippi State in this game. Right, that was an opportunity most teams would run. Jans put his hand up like, hold on, yeah. we got a yellow light. Slow it down. Now he attracts the double team. You got to make him pay if you do. In traffic, rebound, foul against Kentucky. Cameron Matthews went up and ripped it down. What a start at home for Mississippi State. The dogs up early, 12-3.
Welcome back to Super Tuesday here on ESPN and the Hump. The physicality quotient is vital tonight for both teams. Mississippi State makes a living with physical play. We've already seen that tonight. In fact, head coach Chris Jans told us at shoot around today they have some quote grown ass men on this roster. As a result, John Calipari told his Wildcats today at shoot around, look, tonight ain't a game for cute. If you're cute tonight, you're benched. Go to the basket with reason and play through contact and don't expect to get any calls. This is a grown man game tonight. Do not be cute. Score the basketball. We're roughhousing. And Jimmy, we've already seen that with Tolu Smith tonight. Yeah, no doubt. And that's why Rabby's sitting by me. Nothing cute tonight if you're going to be on that floor. I like where you're at right now. Mississippi State and their fans love where they are at right now. Up by nine early. Kentucky cold shooting to start one of six take it right at Z that's his second block tonight and Kentucky will try to take advantage and the recovery length of big Z is special bad pass Reed Shepard try to go over the top Matthews ripped it Shaquille Moore an easy one there Rebbe, you got to take those the play calls are off right. if you have the numbered break in Mississippi State really good at reading the game so far pretty move by Reeves to go baseline he banged into a big body another one in Jimmy Bell Jr. and that's going to be Kentucky basketball and it's such a, a fine line when you want to play call but when you have the numbers and you got a guard that can get with that much less resistance by Kentucky where is the defense just blow by and guys opening up speaking of big body 610 280 is Jimmy Bell Jr. And look oh, out gosh. big Z the tag guy was too deep for Mississippi State you're just going to dunk right over the tag guy if he sits at the restricted arc he's got to come to the logo. He had a huge game against Alabama, Jimmy, in 20 minutes. You know he went 7 for 11, had 18 points and four blocks. He's already got a couple now. Look at the speed of Dillingham. The rip. Missed the three. Edwards, easy layup. Well, that has to be Edwards' game to get him triggered offensively. How quick is Rob Dillingham? Deflected it and then outran two guys for the ball. How many teams in the country have three draft picks coming off the bench? Yeah, like Shepard, Dillingham, and Zonamir Vesic. The answer is none. Gets to say none. And Vesic challenged that shot. We're going to get a foul against Mississippi State. Looks like they call Matthews. Here's what I'm talking about. Mississippi State, they've got to rotate up quicker with their tag defender. See the tag defender, Rabbi, is inside that restricted arc. That will not work. All you're going to do there is get the ball pumped on top of your head. and. You've got to tag a Visich and hit him hard before he ever catches it. Shepard open three. Yes. Bottoms, he used that screen from the Visich. Literally every time he shoots it, you think it's going in. Yeah. He has tremendous balance like the Connect kid I'll see tomorrow night at Tennessee. Straight up, straight down, always on balance in everything that he does. He's a 51% three-point field goal shooter. So they absorbed the first blow, and now they are down by four, Kentucky. They love that baseline move. That time, Shepard, who's third on the team and blocked, blocked it, and it ended up in the hands of Bell, who'll go to the free throw line. Really good hands by Bell to secure that ball with a short clock. I think he got it with just over two seconds to go, and the presence to put it back up and draw contact. Watch Bell right here. He secures that spot and just gives a little bit of a, of a hip shove to Vesic to knock him out of the way. But the awareness of where the shot clock was impressive by Jimmy Bell. Bell misses the first. Plenty of basketball still ahead of us. And up next here, Texas squaring off against Texas Tech. That should start right around 9 o'clock Eastern time on ESPN on the app. You get to see Max Aismiths and, of course, Pop Isaacs. Each team coming in off a loss. Texas, Texas Tech right after us. Yeah, that is the Texas Longhorns' last visit to Lubbock as a member of the Big 12. They come to the SEC next year. That, that building will be hot tonight. Much like this one in Starkville. Violation there, and it was the jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Kentucky. Deshaun Murphy is into the game, and he has been a spark plug. And in fact, it started the last couple of games. He's been a spark plug for Mississippi State. Terrific offensive player. And he changes them defensively. He's a one rebound every three and a half minutes. I'm talking about 12 in white. 
Another 6'10 physical athlete for Chris Chans inside. Dillingham, the floater, no good. Rebound by Murphy. Great pass. Yes, great well, pass by Murphy. Again, Kentucky ball watching. That is not their strength defensively. They've gotten better. You can still pick them apart with off ball action. That was Shaquille Moore Edwards. No good. And the rebound, Mississippi State. They have an opportunity to run. Now they'll reset. The baseline has been a place that Mississippi State has attacked against Kentucky. They get Dillingham on the foul from behind. Why would Dillingham gamble out there? He's not going to strip it from a really tight handler who's only 5'10". That's his second. Yeah, that's a big foul. And to your point about Mississippi State, they are cutting the eyes of Kentucky. The eyes are watching the ball. Mississippi State's cutting to the rim because of it. One of the reasons that Kentucky's been better defensively of late is the players have actually paid close attention to the scouting reports. And the number one thing on the scouting report was don't allow back cuts. One eye on your man, one eye on the cutter. We All three of us heard him say that in shoot around today. And he just looked at his guys and said, we're not playing for steals, we're playing for stops. Cholo Smith missed an easy layup, but they get an offensive rebound. And he was out of bounds. He did a great job throwing it off of Shepard. But Jones then had the deflection go off him. Kentucky getting outworked early on the glass. And it's what you're talking about. You're going to turn this thing into a grown man's game where you go to your grown men. On the inside, this is a team that thrives off of contact plays. Talking about Mississippi State. And if Kentucky continues to ball watch, Mississippi State will continue to shoot layups. Bradshaw all the way to the basket lays it in. This is the third center that Cal's got an opportunity to use. Started with Onyenso, went to Avisic, and now Bradshaw gets some run. The ball screen defense by Mississippi State has to tighten up. They got to impact the ball more and impact the tag guy. Layup by Hubbard, blew by his man. I think, though, if you have Hubbard scoring off the bounce of Kentucky, you've done your job. But that was too easy. What you don't want is Hubbard to get off 14, 15 jump shots in this game. Reeves gets his first points of the night. Antonio Reeves, the leading scorer for Kentucky at 19.9. There's only been a handful of guys that have ever averaged 20 underneath John Calipari. You know, Jamal Murray's the only Kentucky player yes. to average 20 under John Calipari, Kentucky, and Reeves is right there. Boy, Tolu Smith having his way. That put back is no good, and here comes Shepard. John Murphy had an easy one. They missed a couple at the basket here. Reeves, three ball. No good, and what a job boxing out. Hubbard did. Moore. Wow. Missed everything, and now Edwards has a huge advantage over Hubbard. Used that size, and he lost the ball. Good job by Hubbard to get back and distract Edwards enough from making the finish. That Again. last trip was not what Chris Jans wants. Push three, air ball. You see Zoom on that play call sign, which is going to involve the big guy right here dribbling towards the wing into guard action. That's what Zoom is. Here they go again. A big handle of the ball to a guard. Bucket. <laughs> Hubbard knocks down a three. He's averaging over 15 a game. He's 77-3. Leads the team by 52. Man, that zoom action into a shooter so difficult to handle. Hubbard has such explosiveness in his jump shot. Shepard's ready to shoot when he gets the ball. Knocks down another three. His second of the night. We know Kentucky is so good with their ball movement. They throw strikes. They don't throw bad passes, which sets them up to be an elite three-point shooting team. Great move by Murphy. Got his man up in the air, and he's going to have a chance for three. Keyshawn Murphy has been a huge addition the last few games. He missed a handful dealing with some personal family issues. He's come back and the offense has changed. Yeah, Robbie Simpson, he's been an 8.5 rebound guy. And he can, he's a skilled kid that can put it on the deck a little bit, can spin you, get himself to the free throw line. This isolation guy is 12 in white. 
and he is all of 6'10", if not longer. Justin Edwards now has two fouls, so he and Dillingham each with two fouls for Kentucky. And Murphy knocks it down. He's averaging just about six and a half a game, but there's potential for a lot more when he is right. Cal knew exactly what his team was in for tonight. He mentioned it several times about the physicality, nothing cute. Are we going to grow up and handle coming off of success? A lot of question marks for his young team right now on the road. We're going to get Jones there as Reeves had the corner on him, and Jones got a step in front. What I like about Reeves in this game, Ravi, he is driving through contact. Something that he was not able to do last year with the effect that the city has this year. It's the third foul on Mississippi State. Shepard to inbounds, and he uses the valve in Fierro. There's Bradshaw on the baseline, Fierro. Now an open three. Bottom. Fierro has to take those open looks. Because right now they are not afraid to come off of him as that help defender in front of the rim. He does a good job of relocating to that offside corner. You get Wagner in the corner. Foul on Hubbard. That's the team seven foul, Jimmy. A Duthiero's guy guarding him is Matthews, but Matthews is also responsible for handling that ball screen offensive player rolling out of it, and the Duthiero is going to be open. If you're going to leave him open, he's got to step up and make shots tonight on the road. The five-time SEC Freshman of the Week, Hubbard looks for point nine, and he knocks down that first free throw. Speaking of Freshman of the Week, it's the first time ever Kentucky has had five different players named as the SEC Freshman of the Week. Bradshaw, Shepard, Wagner, Dillingham, and Edwards have all won it. It speaks to the unreal, uncommon depth that Cal has this year. They're going to get Bell there. He got his hand on the back of Bradshaw. Yeah. Are you surprised that it's the first time, given how many great freshmen they've, they've had each year? I am. But if, if you look back on it, he's always had one or two that probably didn't meet the expectation that we had on him coming in. Right. Not this year. All five of these guys at some point have risen up and shown you why they were the top guys in their class. Bradshaw, left hand, foul Bell. So something has to change, Ravi, for Mississippi State's ball screen middle defense. Because Cal knows right now he's either getting a basket, he's getting a kick out three, or he's getting fouled off this middle ball screen action. So are you going to go to drop coverage? Are you going to rotate up faster and hit the roll man before he ever gets to the nail? Questions that Chris Jans has to work through now on the defensive side of the ball. Bell goes out. Bradshaw's just a 56% free throw shooter. He missed the first. And right now, the scoreboard 25-20 favors Mississippi State, not only in the score, but in the pace of the game and how many points they're allowing Kentucky. Yeah, it was a 90-77 to win by Kentucky in Rupp. Early in conference play. And remember, Josh Hubbard was 1 for 11 in that game. Bradshaw from behind picks up the foul. Tolu Smith is going to go to the free throw line. We'll come back. Marty we will talk with the head coach of Mississippi State, Chris Jams, right after this timeout. Coach, you wanted physicality and you wanted patience from your guys. How do you assess how they're doing? So far, so good. Uh, we've taken a couple early shots that, you know, falls right into what they want to do in terms of the track meet. But I think our guys are playing physical. We're getting the ball inside. We just got to finish a little better. You look like you might be moving a little slow. You've been running up and down the floor a little bit. Someone's telling fairy tales. <laughs> Appreciate you. Chris Jans getting involved with his team in every possible way, including running up and down the court, Jimmy, recently. Well, he got teed up against Ole Miss, and if you get a technical foul in Chris Jans' program, you got to pay a little penalty the next day in practice, and Coach got out there and did a, it looked like he was a down and back, down and back with a 40, I got 48 seconds on the clock, maybe. Here's Tolu Smith, and the front end goes down. 
it's a good way for a coach to, to tear an Achilles is what this is, but uh, Chris Jay is not afraid to coach his team. And he has set guys down this year, like Deshaun Davis, who has started every game of his career and moved Josh Hubbard into the starting lineup. But, but this guy's a ball coach. But his guys love him, they respect him, and how they go about business is very mature. Shepard alley yes, yes sir. sir. Right on a break. Has to do Fierro. So good by Cal, Nolan, that Mississippi State. They really get attracted to the ball, and you get that violent cut out of that offside corner. That's a that's a dunk waiting to happen with Kentucky athletes. And just shot a quick shot of Trey Mitchell again, not in this game, and Smith around and in. Tolo Smith's had his way with every center that Kentucky's tried against him. Yeah, well, Cal got what he wanted out of the break, but so did Chris Jans. Chris Jans continuing to set the rules, saying this is going to be a body blow game the entire night. The V6 rolls and finds Reeves. Shepard's two of two from three. Reeves, oh. that's down. Boy, can he shoot it and, quick. And boy, can you not come off Antonio Reeves. As soon as you put two on the ball, Reed Shepard just felt exactly where Reeves was going to relocate. That is money. Kentucky right in this game, down only three. Six and a half to play in the first half. Smith had it. He lost it. And Wagner hands to Shepard. Ball fake by Reeves. No good. I'm telling you, those 16-foot shots, they will never love you back. They'll flirt with you. They'll whisper sweet things in your ears. They will <laughs> never love you back. Take the three here if you're Antonio Reeves or go all the way to the rim. It's just unkind of those 16-footers. It yes. Not very nice. Smith in traffic uh, gets it to go. It, it, it's a grown man against kids right now on the inside. And if you can't come quick enough with your double team, it's going to be a big, big night for those Mississippi State bigs. Solo's got 11 out of Northern Kentucky, the transfer, Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Shepard, three oh. of three from deep. He can really spin it. I mean, it comes off. Most great shooters, Ravi, when they shoot it from the three-point line, the ball rotates three or three and a half times from the time it leaves to the time it gets to the rim. Yeah. His is probably closer to four. That's how much spin he has. Both teams hot from the floor. Mississippi State's made four of their last four. Look at Smith working hard. Jones now an open three off to the right. Matthews had it and lost it. And Kentucky is five of their last six. They got a chance to grab a lead. Vesic threw up a three, no good. He's a good three-point shooter, but not with that one. And watch Kentucky. That's the play I'm talking about with Shepard. He drug Antonio Reeves defender with him to that corner. Now look at that spin, even in slow motion, man. You can see that thing really coming off of his wrist. Shepard's yeah. the type of kid, Jimmy, whatever the game requires, he does. He will do. If they Absolutely. need scoring, he can do that. He has sort of been deferential recently, especially the last game to Edwards and others. But if he needs to put points up, he's capable of scoring 20 to 30. Yeah, you need it. If you want to put him in ball screen, pick and roll as a handler to get downhill, he can do that. Just he touches the game in every area, probably as well as any freshman Cal has ever had. That's a big statement. Yeah, I'm talking about everything he does as a freshman. Matthews against the arrow. That's a tough shot in traffic. Uh, Kentucky. They're going to have to shoot the ball well because the shot quality of Mississippi State is winning this game so far. Good take by Wagner. When he gets it on the go, that go action or go catch action, it's impossible to keep him out of the lane. Mississippi State's got 20 of their 32 points in the paint. Matthews, oh wow! Wow! Right up over the arrow. And that was against what you say is your most physical defender, Dutiero. No match for Cam Matthews. And that brought this sellout crowd of 9,100 to its feet. And they're staying, standing up. Is Kentucky going to fight back defensively in this game? Get it. You talk about getting knocked in the nose around the rim the first half of a ball game. Chris Jans's guys are doing it. Cam Matthews says, I see Fierro behind me, and I'm going to go right through him. And that's Kentucky's best physical defender on the low block.
touch at the altar by the middle game. That's yeah, right. It did, it did. One of many that broke up with me <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> Kentucky's warmed it up 11 of 17 after a one for seven start. Shepard's made all three of his threes until Lou Smith has had his way. It's like a little 2 3 zone here by Mississippi State out of that timeout. Rabbi out of 2,107 defensive possessions this year for the Bulldogs. This is their 78th zone possession. So they don't play it a lot. And Chris Jans went to it coming out of the timeout. And now right back to man to man. Just a little bit of a curveball. Wagner's contested three short. Loose ball 50 51 by Matthews. He's got Shepard on him and he's trying to take advantage of that. Watch out for Onyenso. Milk the clock again, it hits 10. They gotta shoot it with two. Davis has gotta get rid of it. Oh, the corner three, a shocker. DJ Jeffries knocks it down. And for DJ Jeffries, Jimmy, he's a 26% three-point shooter. They'll look to see that he got it off. Ravi, but there was no panic by DJ Jeffries. I mean, he got put in a bad spot. The call on the floor is a good basket. The play is under further review. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's out of his hands. But to your point, he's, what, 29%, I believe, in conference play. But a lot of times when a non-shooter, I'll call him, gets put in a bad spot, they'll panic and shoot it too quick. Really impressed with the patience and poise by DJ Jeffries. And now, he's not an NBA player, but he is, call is confirmed, he is an NBA defender. And he and Cam Matthews both, I would describe the same way. Not sure they're NBA players, but they are NBA defenders. And Kentucky's going to have their hands full with those two kids on this end of the floor all night long. Mississippi State, three of seven from deep. Kentucky, six of 15. So now it feels like Mississippi State has absorbed a blow from Kentucky. Their lead back up to seven. They're in that 2-3 zone. Reeves, no good. The last time Mississippi State beat Kentucky in, in this building was all the way back in 2008. And now Cal's going to throw a zone look right back at Mississippi State. Now John Calipari is 19-1 and one against Mississippi State. State's still got to throw this thing inside or drive it there, right? Oop. He got away with it as he left his feet, and then Smith threw it to Cal. One of his lucky jackets he's wearing tonight. It's not white, and Tolu Smith and that whole thing got a little kerfuffled there in the corner. Now, will Cal stay with his zone? Because Mississippi State was not organized. Yeah. They got a turnover out of it. Sometimes you do what you have to do, not what you want to do, right, to win a game? Reeves driving. Hesitating and a floater. Pretty. And, he, and he did it over what I just said was an NBA defender in Jeffries because he is. He's 6'8 long. He can bat and challenge the ball. Really good stopping ability by Reeves. Now Cal's going to stay with it. Hubbard is back in the game. So he's getting more ball pressure, which helps defend that inside post position that Mississippi State's been getting. Try again. Make wow. again, huh? When DJ a, Jeffries. When a 29% shooter knocks one down, all of a sudden he feels like he's a 40% shooter. On Yensu, oh boy, he had a lane to the basket and then Fierro started a cut and he threw it behind him. Ravi, if I'm Kentucky, I stay with the zone. I know they just made a three. But it was a late clock three by a guy that's not a three-point shooter. And, man, it's just a gut call right now for Cal. He's not a zone coach. But the man-to-man -man defense has not been able to handle the inside strength of Mississippi State. DJ Jeffries, the DJ playing the tunes tonight in the house.
Virginia Tech, Notre Dame, 7 o'clock Eastern time. Our women's basketball season starts to wind down. And then, of course, Jill Reese and LSU take on Georgia. That's 9 Eastern time on ESPN2 Thursday. 7 Eastern, Virginia Tech, Notre Dame to start things off. Kyle goes back to his man to man. So Tolu Smith now has got to get a touch. Chance team has been great. Jimmy Otto breaks. They are four of four. Hubbard fires. Got it. That, that is money for this kid. I'm telling you. Going to his right off of the ball screen. It is money. Five of five out of a break. Shepard. That's too strong. Fierro has it. They're going to see if that ball hit the rim from Shepard. The shot clock did not reset. And Todd Austin is going to give it a look. Joe Lindsay and Brian Dorsey, the three officials tonight. The play is under further review for timing error. And they're looking to see if that ball hit the rim. The shot clock did not reset. Either way, Jimmy, it's 43-32. This is a Kentucky team off of a game in which they scored 117 against Alabama. That is tough to see. It, look, it looks like it misses rim and hits backboard from those two angles. Yeah, I don't think it hits the rim. No. After and review, the ball did not hit the rim on the initial shot. The clock is correct. Kentucky, for everybody that sees the game, they play it against Alabama, and this has been the roller coaster ride. They are yeah. four and four in their last eight games. Well, I, I would have bet your house that Kentucky wouldn't go over 100 in this game, and probably mine as well. But Alabama didn't guard, and they don't be the first guy to tell you that. They weren't physical enough. That's not what you're running into tonight against Chris Jans's guys. This is an entirely, entirely different game than what Kentucky played in on Saturday. Five on the shot clock. About a five-second difference. Wagner will fire. That's, oh, that's good. That's huge. That is huge. Not just for him, but for Kentucky. They'll push. Two seconds. One second. Fires it up. No. Good effort there by Deshaun Davis. Well, this was a game, Jimmy. You talked about it. Physicality, body blows. Mississippi State delivered the first. Kentucky had an answer. And as we are set to send it to the halftime crew, it's 43-35. Before that, Marty has Coach Cal. Coach, you knew it was going to be physical. What's your takeaway from the first half? 50-50 ball. It's their play around the basket. Being a little tougher than us. But we'll be fine. Thank you, Coach. Ravi. All right, Marty, thank you very much. Yeah, the points in the paint, big difference, 22 to 12. 35 at the half for Kentucky, 43 for Mississippi State. Kevin and Sick with the Jeep Halftime Report. There is Bully nearly committing a crime against Jimmy Dykes, apparently, during the <laughs> halftime. Required Jimmy to dodge a few steps. We almost had him on the IR, but you're here, which is yes. good. Marty will join us in a moment. What would you make of the first half, and what has to happen in the second half for Kentucky to come back and Mississippi State to hang on? Yeah, pretty much what we thought. I mean, the, the grown men is the home team, and they have absolutely just knocked Kentucky around offensively around the rim. So Cal has to do something with his post defense. Are you going to double team it quicker? Right. Because if not, Tolu Smith, remember, Ravi, he had 26 in Rupp. Yeah. And Kentucky single covers him. So he's not going to go away in the second half if Kentucky doesn't do something defensively different against number one in white. Now, he did get some help also late in the second half from Josh Hubbard, who's a little jump shooting machine. And he can go off the bounce where he really does his damage. Two out of every three shots he takes are a jump shot off the bounce or off the catch. And he's, he's so good off that ball screen action. And I was very impressed, Ravi, with Mississippi State's defense. They only fouled five times, therefore Kentucky only got to the free throw line twice in the first half. Solid defense without fouling. Leading scorers there from Mississippi State on the other side. Edwards off his 28, scored only two on one of three shooting. Shepard and Reeves and Wagner lead the way. Marty. 
Ravi Jimmy just said it. Chris James just told me exiting the locker room they have to do a better job on ball screen coverage, but that Kentucky's a very good shooting team. So they have to get out on Reed Shepard. He said, I'm not sure what we're doing there. We're not treating him like he's one of the best shooters in the country, which he is. He told us during shoot around they would live with DJ Wagner beating them deep. He said Wagner, to his credit, has been very good at shooting it tonight. Yeah, he has made his uh, shots. He is three of four from the floor, two of three from deep. Starting five for the game back on the floor for Kentucky. Hubbard got hit and he made the shot. A chance for a four point play. Eight seconds into the second half. He has some magic about him as a freshman. But his ability to rise up this dribble handoff zoom action again. Kentucky is late covering that guard coming out of the corner. That big is dribbling at the guard who sprints out, and this time it's it's Hubbard again. Well, because he jumps so high, you're fouling him as opposed to blocking his shot for a 5-10 guard. Well, you could not start a half no. better. Their largest lead of the night. That offsets the three-point shot by Wagner going into the half. Yes. Can they get Justin Edwards going? Reeves on the curl, his quick floater rattles in. Good play call by Cal. He goes back to his floppy action, two circle for Reeves. Cutting through that elbow into a tough runner. One of the better shooters in the SEC off of the floater game is Reeves. Antonio now has nine. Back to Tolo Smith, the cutting Matthews. Missed the layup. Reeves goes to the corner, Fierro to the basket, pretty play. He hung and he's able to make the hoop. Yeah, great control, not good. Great control by Fierro as a big physical guy in the open floor with his body. Hubbard again firing. Oh yeah. man! He is something special now. And you're getting a glimpse of it. Josh Hubbard, the freshman out of Madison, Mississippi. Back-to-back -back threes. He's got seven quick points. Fierro in the paint. Hubbard had him tied up. And they do get the jump ball. Possession arrow stays with Kentucky. I Hard to hear a whistle here. It is, right. I talked about the high release of this kid. He's 5'10". But watch the pop. Bam! I mean, he sticks those feet on the takeoff and in the landing. Always on balance, never fading to his right or his left or backwards. And 19 points for Hubbard, Jimmy. Yeah, again, he was one out of 11 against Rupp. It's only a 13-point game. He took that one personal with a second chance tonight. That ball was attempted alley-oop to Fierro. Matthews, the bounce, and the layup on the other end from Moore. Time out, Kentucky. Chris Chans wants to play call and keep it in a 60 possession game. But when we have the numbers, he told his guys, we got to go and make Kentucky pay for the lack of sprint in transition defense. That'd be Josh Hubbard. Is, he's so quick into his cuts for the ball. And he comes off that thing ready to shoot. And Mississippi State's doing a good job of delivering it to this guy where there's no wasted motion. He's his catch and his pop happen back to back. So explosive. And there's the play by Cam Matthews that ignites Mississippi State in the run game. And Edwards wasn't in a full sprint. And three and white got out in front of him and made him pay. Right. And here's the graphic of what you had just said. You go back to January 17th, Hubbard at Rupp, one of nine, three points. And one of the assistant coaches told us today, you know, when he has a bad game, we know he's going to have a great game. I'm not saying that there's a connection, but they all have great faith in Hubbard off of a poor performance to bounce. Yeah, no doubt. Now, he is coming off of a 32-point yeah. game at LSU, so he's starting to feel it right now. I'm so impressed for him to come in to an old, established team and be the leading shot taker, the leading scorer. He does it with humility. He's about the right things, and his dad shot him, taught him to shoot the basketball sitting in a chair at a young age. And everything lines up with his release. Reeves, crowd wanted some steps. Dillingham needs it, can't get it. 
Loose ball, it'll stay with Kentucky. Where will Kentucky find their points? Every attempt at a layup, there is a body banging them. Well, Shepard's got to shake loose for some threes, and it's, this is the game that yes. Dillingham has to just take over for a three or four minute stretch, and he's capable of doing it, this kid right here. He drove, and a foul called on Cameron Matthews, the senior, out of Olive Ranch, Mississippi. And Kentucky has to drive the ball in the second half. Remember, they only got to the free throw line two times in the first 20 minutes. They're going to give Dillingham two shots on that. No, he wasn't shooting. No. Looked like he was on the floor when there was contact from Matthews. Hadn't left the floor, but the free throw is good. NBA Wednesday. How about Tyrese Halliburton and the Pacers hosting Zion and the Pelicans? And then LeBron and the Lakers get Kawhi and the Clippers. We'll tip with NBA countdown at 7. Pelicans currently 6th in the West. The Lakers in ninth place. That ball was deflected both off of Fierro and then Reeves as Matthews tried to pound it into Tolu Smith. Yeah, the on-ball defense, though, by Cal's guys, a little hotter in this second half to start with, which is all designed to take away those passes inside to Tolu Smith. You got three choices at center for Kentucky, and right now Cal's going with Vladimir Ivisic. Hubbard's got a chance for an open one. Maybe too open for him. Loose ball out of bounds. It'll go to Kentucky. Many of the shots that Hubbard has made, Jimmy, have been contested. That yeah. was wide, <laughs> wide open. I think Cal sees the same thing. Let, let Dillingham have a couple of minutes here. Oh, alley yeah. to Fierro. Matthews never saw it coming. All triggered, though, by the speed of Dillingham to get to that paint. Forced the defense to shrink to his ball and frees up Fierro. Remember, Dillingham has two fouls on him. Fierro reaches in. Still battles for it. Got numbers. And now they have numbers is right. Another open three. And he missed again. And the ball gets stuck. One of the few times I've seen Hubbard actually fade a little bit is why the ball came up short. It looked like this is Dillingham working off that high flat ball screen. And Matthews doesn't stick a body on the arrow. You need a 7-2 guy even <laughs> with the broomstick to free up the basketball. <laughs> Uh, did, did we have did we show that as Vonavir with the we didn't show it with yet. a broom handle behind the backboard? <laughs> the crew that usually sweeps here and cleans up the sweat said I can't get to that. They handed it to the big fella. Back in action, Reeves sees a baseline hard take. And Kentucky flexes back. Cal has sent a message to his guys. We cannot jump shoot our way back into this game. We've got to drive it. We've got to have forceful drives and bring the officials into the game when we have the ball. Hubbard has Edwards on him now, so they have Dillingham on Matthews. Powers his way in. Morris three. Too strong. Loose. They got to get rid of it. Three seconds on the shot clock. Hubbard, he got wow. bailed out on a foul. He helped create that contact. Well, when you can't secure the loose ball off your defensive glass, you're asking for problems. And I agree with you. This is just a late play by Hubbard to drive it right at the hip. Now, I didn't let uh... Edwards gets called for his third. Oh, that's a tough call to go against Kentucky. Tolu Smith to the bench. Jimmy Bell in. That's a bad pass. It's picked off by Fierro. A three cuts it to four. Dillingham's speed has been a big difference. The three is no good. Hubbard trailing. No good. He's missed his last three shots. That was a quick shot, but remember, Hubbard has a different set of rules than everybody else. Reeves, three, too strong. 
This is a pace that Kentucky wants to play at, and they're going to get a foul if it's on Dillingham. It's his third, and it is. Rob Dillingham picks up his third. Felt like he might be a difference maker in this one. 15-20 to go. Seven-point Mississippi State lead. In the Dean Dome. Yeah. He did something that they didn't. Tyler Hansborough, Rasheed Wallace, Antoine Jameson, Stackhouse, Vince Carter. No, it's R.J. Davis with a scoring record. And no guard has played better than R.J. Davis in the country this year. Yeah, good defense that time by Z as we come back. Houston, by the way, up pretty comfortably. Dillingham, alley-oop, and a little too high. And that's going to be a foul on a Duthiero. Let's go down to Marty. Ravi, as you see, Rob Dillingham still on the floor for the Kentucky Wildcats. Typically, with this much time left in a half, John Calipari will sit a guy who gets a third foul, but he just looked at Dillingham in the huddle and said, I'm going to play you, Rob. How bad do you want to play? Do not foul. That's how important Dillingham is to the Wildcats as the dogs get another bucket. I thought the screen that Bell laid on Z and sent him to the ground. Dish to Thierro. Boy, his body is able to contort itself. He scored once, missed that. Thierro will launch a three. Off the mark. Dillingham, great fight. Bodies are on the floor. But official says out of bounds. Dillingham. Joe Lindsay was right on it. A turnover in the game. I mean, what's the SEC screen set by Mississippi State's Jimmy Bell? <laughs> and right there on the inside, he just knocks Zivana Mirovicic back to Croatia. And those clear out moves just free up those downhill drives. Legal or not, Jimmy Bell delivering the wood. Hubbard misses again. And they're going to get a foul down low. And that's how they call Bell. He, he, he tried to return Z from Croatia, and he got called for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is one big body that has played really well this year. Started all the games when Tolu Smith was out, and then has now come off the bench. But, I mean, he's, he's all of 6'11", and uh, 260, 265, and it just becomes a chucking match on the inside. He's going to win. Yeah, tough pass to control. Oh, boy. Shepard went right underneath Matthews. Calipari, think about it, he has now looked at Dillingham the last couple times down about the passes that he has thrown. Vonier has really good hands. Oh, man, that dangerous fall. Mississippi State has adjusted their middle ball screen defense just a little bit now, coming up higher and hotter, delivering blows, not giving clean looks for that roll man. I told Lou Smith back into the game. He was so active, five of eight in the first half. Davis step back three, no good. And Quick not, shot. not a good shot, bad shot for sure by Davis for a team that's trying to run plays and limit the possessions in the game. Reeves had that ball get caught up on his skip. Look at the defense by Mississippi State. Dillingham ran right into Matthews. And he will go to the free throw line. Well, Mississippi State is really covering those elbows, though. They're forming a wall. We talk about build a wall and stop the ball in transition. They are doing it time and time again in their half-court defense. And at some point, you got to have a guy like Dillingham that just goes right into it and brings the officials into the game. So important when you're on the road. And they are going to say that foul, like that one was on the floor when it clearly looked like he was going up to take a shot. Shepard, his three no good. Davis had the block out. Jeffries putting on a dribbling clinic. <laughs> Davis saw 7-2 come at him, so he kicked it in the corner for a three. Air ball, Tolu Smith there, and his first bucket since the 5.59 mark in the first half. Those air balls are really hard to crowd from a defensive standpoint. Watch Shepard. Yeah, pretty. 
Laid it in up over Murphy. Neither team has been a defensive clinic on middle ball screen defense. And if you can't cover the middle ball screen in March, you will get knocked out of your conference tournament and certainly the NCAA tournament. It's that prevalent in the college game. They get it to Smith. He rolls, and that time Ivicic was there for the block. It's Kentucky basketball. That time Z laid off of Tolu, and it allowed him to block this shot. Good job by Zvonimir to be the second guy off the floor. T Tolu Smith is kind of a below the rim guy. Now he's really good, but he's not that explosive. And Zvonimir now comes out as good as he's playing. That This has to be just to catch his breath for a couple of minutes. Onyensu back on the floor. Joined by Wagner, Reeves, Thierro, and Reed Shepard. Rebbe, it might be just to this next media timeout for Reeves and Zvonimir Visic. Excuse me for Gillingham. Gillingham. Corner Reeves. That's his spot. Knocks down a three. Jimmy Kentucky is right in this game, down just six. Now they are the number one three point shooting team in the country. And Mississippi State is the number five three point defensive team in the country. They've got to stay tight on guys like Reeves. Antonio Reeves, 14 points in the game. Hubbard pulls up, got one to go. That's just too easy. Kentucky, their guards are not fighting over the top of screens. Reeves back the other way. Lindsey says, count the basket. He took that right at zero and white. DJ Jeffries, they will give him the bucket, and he will have a chance for a three when we come back. And, Ravi, that was after a Mississippi State make. So Mississippi State now gets caught being tardy in their conversion defense. Watch Reeves, man. His ability to drive it through contact, hang, concentrate, next level this year from last year. You're talking about the race for the SEC and the double buy in the SEC tournament. One of the things you have to consider, the strength of schedule moving forward. Tennessee's schedule is brutal. Mississippi State, South Carolina, brutal. Kentucky is in the catbird seat. They have the 58th hardest schedule remaining, which... Said another way, they got a pretty good road here. And again, they can finish anywhere from first to tenth. Yeah, this would be massive though, because they go home against Arkansas and Vanderbilt. Two games they'll be heavily favored in, and they finish up the SEC at Tennessee, which could determine the SEC regular title. And a big game tomorrow night. I'll be out in Knoxville, Auburn, just outside the top ten nationally ranked against the number four Tennessee. If Auburn were to win that one, then you can make a strong case to keep an eye on for those guys as your regular yes. season champs. Shaquille Moore all the way to the basket. Token defense that time by Kentucky. Now the SEC has three teams inside the top ten net, which leads the nation. Tennessee five, Bama six, and Auburn seven. That's why those schedule strings are so brutal right now for four or five teams in this league. Zvonimir Ivicic getting set to check back in. Reeves has been outstanding lately. Shepard all the way, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. There is no help because of the shooters that Cal can put on the floor, but Reeves is really the only guy you got to be concerned with. And Mississippi State just gets, they get too stretched out. And those white jerseys, you got to stay attached to on Yenso, but Reed Shepard is so clever. Because DJ Jeffries is a good defender, but Shepard, and Dillingham are very good in terms of their competitive fire, their seriousness, their approach to the game. It matters to 15 in blue. Reed Shepard, 14 points. It's a four-point game. Murphy pulls up way too strong. And Chris Jans looks like, are you serious? Shepard, great pass, the arrow, two-point game. Chris Jans is not happy. He has called timeout. It all started with Keyshawn Murphy falling in love with a 16-footer, and I already told you what that's going to happen. And you miss a shot, and it just triggers the run game of Kentucky. Shepard driving the ball right now to score and to pass is a problem for Chris Jans. 60-58, Chris Jans had a few words for Keyshawn Murphy, who again has really started to return to form. But a bad 30 seconds with the shot, and then he got smoked on the other end. 
Hubbard back into the game. He's guarded by Shepard. They get it to Tolu, and that's a good play out of the break again. But Chris Jans has been spectacular out of the timeouts. I, I can't remember him missing out of the timeouts. Seven for seven. Good call, Jimmy. The arrow penetrates. That time Murphy held his ground. If Isic's three is no good. He did not hold his follow through at all, Ivisic. Look at Hubbard now, like milking a cow here. He's milking the clock. Every second counts for him. Last time you milked a cow was uh, like second grade. We went to a farm and everybody got a chance. Hubbard. Murphy hustled for it. Out of bounds. They're going to say it is a foul on Kentucky. I think because of the aggressiveness that Murphy went with, they were forced to grab and hold the arrow. Watch Murphy, he makes a strong, fast cut to the ball. Fierro gets caught with a grab. The next foul, Mississippi State's in the bonus. Let's see Smith go, whoa, boy, he just threw him out of the way. Ivicic to the floor, offensive foul, Tolu Smith. No doubt that is the right call. Avisic is in legal guarding position, moving his feet, and he just barrels in. And anytime the offensive player, especially post guys, driver, when they lower their shoulder into you, it's an automatic going the other way. Fade away. Avisic, no good, no contact. And as he slowly gets back, Mississippi State has numbers. Tough pass, really, really tough pass for Hubbard. He went bullet to Tolu and he couldn't control it. Chris Jans was very clear. We've got to limit the possessions in this game. Yeah, milk the cow, right? Yes, if we don't have the clean numbers, let me play call us to a win. And Josh Hubbard that time just breaks off and tries to make a play that's not there. They've done that a couple of times down. Nine minute mark of the second half. Stagger away for Reeves. Shepard. Floater. Too good. How smooth is he? Man, this kid is silk. 16 I, points for Reed Shepard. I wasn't sure what Shepard would be at the next level. Early, I thought it was kind of a J.J. Redick, but his handle, his passing ability, his, his hands. Like yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a different deal now when I look him. I'm not saying he's Steve Nash, but he's closer to Steve Nash now than he was J.J. Redick back in December, for me anyway. That time, Tolu Smith got great position. Just keep pounding away inside, right, for Mississippi State. Coaching staff imploring the 9100 to get off their feet. Now look at this zone now by Mississippi State. Just Reeves, a handful three. Of, a handful of times they play it. Seems to work initially. Then yeah. you take it off. Yeah. Five on the shot clock. He will take it. No good. There's only five on the shot clock. Wagner goes behind his back. Shepard. Oh, oh man. Calmly knocks down a three. What a game Reed Shepard is having. And what a read by Reed Shepard to fill behind the drive that got cut off. A little flip pass. He's got 19. There's not a prettier jump shot in all of college basketball than this kid for Kentucky. Smith double teamed. Hubbard way off. And he gets the ball. Somehow it ends up in the shortest guy's hands under the basket. Now the 10th offensive rebound for Mississippi State in this game. Shepard again. Not that time. Why? I mean, I love Cal giving him a green light, but even Cal that time says no. I, I would think the answer to why is I just made one. <laughs> yeah, but make the defense work a little. 
He'll let Murphy all day do that. And he knocks that one down. After badly missing a couple, Deshaun Murphy buries a three. Reeves, the floater, he's so good at that. He's the Reed Shepard credit for the offensive rebound. Yeah, absolutely. Reeves is the best in this league with a floater game. Well, you like Hubbard and Tolu Smith, right? Getting shot opportunities if you're Chris Jans trying to close this thing out. Oh, uh -oh. Shepard, another steal. Up and oh, with a left hand, he knocked it in. Let's hope that. Hubbard's okay, landed awkwardly and went down to grab that left knee of his, but he appears to be okay. It's a two-point ball game. Great example of how Reed Shepard affects the game as a freshman better than any freshman Cal has had overall. 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting for Shepard. He got up in the air that time, and Hubbard knocks it down. He's got 25. Chris Chan's going to go man or going to go zone? Back to his man, which is what he has trusted. Over 1,700 possessions of defensive man by Chris Jans this year. Wagner got bumped, and he cannot convert the shot. But he will get two free throws, and what a fight we have tonight at the hump. Mississippi State by four. Yeah, two freshmen are, are balling right now. Is it Reed Shepard for Kentucky, but Josh Hubbard with the answer. Massive opportunity for the home team with 4.51 to go. Rabby, take it away. It is that. Thank you, Kevin. 71-67. You know, one of the things that's become a subject, certainly in college basketball, court storming. They just made an announcement over the public address system here that that will not be tolerated here tonight. And you can see the police presence, which makes themselves very visible during the timeout. Well, we, we got a glimpse there of Mitch Barnhart, the Kentucky AD, is here tonight. Yep. You want to you get a solution to a problem, ask someone who's actually in the trenches day to day. And Mitch Barnhart, I thought he was so smart today when we were talking about it. He said, if you want to end court storms, you lose a home game in conference play the following year. If it's in football and you storm the field, uh, a home game next year now becomes an away game. Same way with basketball, and that will get administration's attention and have the police line up around a game like tonight when Kentucky is in town. Hubbard, pull up, no good. Tolu Smith can't keep it inbounds. Because, Ravi, if you do that, you're, you're, that team is losing revenue. Yes. They're losing a competitive advantage of not having a home yes. football game or basketball game in conference play. That makes as much sense as anything else I've heard. And it impacts the fans. Absolutely it does. They lose an opportunity. Interesting idea for Mitch Barnhart. Well, it, it, this applies when Kentucky, Kansas, Duke, Carolina, UConn come to town or a number one or two ranked team. Dillingham, they lead the game now on a three. He is fearless. Is he risky? Yes. Is he fearless? Absolutely. 72-71, Kentucky. It feels like the game has gotten too high scoring for Mississippi State. Who yes, it does. It down, right? Yes, it does. There's a turnover. Reed Shepard has been outstanding tonight. 8 of 11, 21 points. He's got 7 assists and refuses to turn it over, does Reed yes. Shepard. Dillingham thinks about it. There's that, oh, great look to Aaron Bradshaw. The speed of Dillingham, though, sets the entire thing up. He gets from point A to point B as quick as anyone in this league. 74-71. What do you do here if you're Mississippi State? Get if it to I, Smith? Yeah, absolutely, I would. Hubbard, that ball knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Mississippi State. We are under four, and Kentucky has finally grabbed a lead. Yeah, the speed of Dillingham, Rabbi, you just can't handle it. And Kentucky continues to play in the... Well, a Shepherd boy shall lead them, right? And that's exactly what Reed Shepherd has done in the second half. 12 points, three assists. 
it's almost impossible to get him out of the speed that he wants to play with. And we know the three-point shot is as good as there is in the country. But just his defensive instincts, his toughness, his ability to make shots guarded around the rim, and his patience and poise and IQ, Ravi, for a true freshman is as, as good as I've seen yeah. ever go through that Kentucky program. I hear you. And after Justin Edwards had a big game the last game, it came out that Reed Shepard, his family had been involved with Edwards and got him some so mental coaching, which Reed Shepard's been using since a sophomore in high school. Hubbard, finger roll, no. Smith follows. I said, so you know, what prompted you to get that instruction? He said, just getting down on myself. They text each other once a week. It's about having fun, never letting the moment get too big. And it has shown his entire freshman year. Kentucky by one, 2.40 to go. Dillingham's got two seconds to shoot it. Fade away, no good, shot clock violation. Probably the best defensive possession by Chris Chance's guys coming out of a timeout. And they sat down and guarded and they squared Kentucky up. They didn't give an angle for a drive. And where does Chris Chans go again on this possession? You, I, I, you love Tolu Smith on the low block. Yep. Josh Hubbard always a threat as a jump shooter as well. And they're stacked up right now at the top of the key. Wagner out. Reeves, whose defense has improved so much on the floor now. Smith has Bradshaw on him. Tolu on the baseline, working hard, and that's a foul on Bradshaw. Well, that's the 17th yes, foul of Kentucky, and I talked about in the first half, Mississippi State grabbing only 61% from the free throw line. And Tolu Smith below that number at 57% in conference play. These are huge. 59% on the season. And Tolu Smith with an opportunity to tie this game up. Huge opportunity on the road for Kentucky. Mississippi State would all but assure themselves of an NCAA bid with a win. That's off. Gillingham speed, finger roll, yes. Now Cal went right at Josh Hubbard, who's the weakest defender that Mississippi State has. No match for Dillingham. Yeah, more blocked by Avisic, but a foul is called by Todd Austin. As good of an offensive player Josh Hubbard is, defensively he's not ready to get stops in this league, and he just jumps out and completely overplays the left hand of Dillingham. And Dillingham says, thank you very much. Shaquille Moore is a 70% free throw shooter. This will be his first attempt tonight. And he gets that one to roll in. One of the biggest games of our sixth matchup Saturday. It tips off our ESPN schedule. Meiji Johnson and number 18 South Carolina get floored at noon Eastern. It's so big it's simulcast. It's on ESPN and the SEC network. I I'll be there. Where, where won't you be? I don't know, but I know I'll be at that one. That's a big time game. Big time so game right here. Under two to go. Two point lead down to one. Shepard pulls up. Gosh, he my, is so good. To my point about him not being sped up in big moments. 23 now in the game for Reed Shepard. He is 9 of 12 from the floor. Seven assists, one turnover. Matthews. Oh, bad pass. Good hands by Reeves. They got a two-on-one. Shepard lays it up and in. And a foul. So smart, Reed Shepard. There will be a lot of dogs and a lot of babies over the next nine months named Reed coming out of Kentucky. And this kid just gets it. What can he not do or what has he not done for this Kentucky team this year? Now the easy play is the alley-oop to Antonio Reeves. 
And again, Coach Calipari puts Reeves on the floor for his defense. And he's the guy that ends up with that turnover. Another area of growth for Reeves. Well, you got to go fast now for Mississippi State. Got a new career high, 26 for Reed Shepard. He and blocked, blocked that shot. shot. And a foul by Tolu Smith. Reed Shepard takes over the game. Dillingham contributes in the second half. And Kentucky is in a position to get a massive road win. How good is Reed Shepard? I mean, to fly in front of a jump shooter, knowing that he's left-handed, and he goes high with the right paw to, to get a piece of it. Man, is this kid special. I mean, I value guard play in a heated building on the road in February and March. And that's Reed Shepard has been at his biggest moment in this building. Two of the top teams in the Big 12. Saturday, our ABC men's basketball featured matchup. Number seven, Kansas. Number 15, Baylor. We'll start at 1 Eastern and noon Central. You made the point early, though. What coach has three future NBA draft picks coming off the bench? Shepard and Dillingham have been the difference tonight in this game. Bradshaw. Got it. A Hubbard, I should say, knocks down a three. A big shot and a timeout call with 50 seconds to go and Kentucky up five. No game pressure obviously is still on Kentucky and Hubbard just crafty enough to get into the body of Adu Thiero and then reload into his jump shot. If this doesn't go in this game's over but Mississippi State now the door is not completely shut. And Rav you've heard me talk about this before. If you're Kentucky, you're telling your guys you have to pretend like there are no officials now on the floor. Don't expect to be bailed out by a foul call. You have to be strong with the ball, eat the ball when the passes are coming to you. Everything done with two hands. Remind your Kentucky kids, we've got two timeouts if you get hung up in a bad spot. Let's don't turn this thing over. Take care of the ball, close it out the free throw line. If we can keep it in the hands of our best free throw shooters like Reed Shepard, then that's just bonus. But Kentucky, really good overall, almost 78% from the line as a team. It's hard to pick on a guy right now when everybody that Cal puts yeah. on the floor is a 70% or yeah. above free throw shoot. Yeah, Jimmy, they have not missed a free throw. They are nine of nine this half. They are shooting 60% from the floor this half. And they have outscored him 48-35 in the second half to grab this lead. Reeves trapped on the baseline, but before that he gets a foul called. And he will go to the free throw line. Antonio Reeves a near 90% free throw shooter. Coach Cal said as he talked to Marty going into the halftime break, we're going to be all right. Coach Cal has his swagger back and I was with him a lot in October for pro day and different things and I think he could see the depth that he had. Yep. I don't think he could ever see how quickly these freshmen would grow up in a rugged rugged SEC this year. It's the best that the league's ever had and his freshmen have handled a lot of big moments. And this is another one potentially tonight that they're going to check off. Yes. Eight guys have played double figure minutes. And that always is the challenge, the balancing act. Who's hot? Who's going to come in? When are they coming in? Hubbard knocks down another three. You cannot let Hubbard dribble into a three point shot at this stage in the game. He has deep range, and Reed Shepard has his feet on the three-point line as opposed to two or three steps outside the three-point line and that's pretty easy money for Josh Hubbard and a lot of game pressure still left on the Cats Hubbard has 31 points we discussed it though is that the biggest challenge that John Calipari ends up with each season you have all of this depth how do you balance the minutes and how do you know which guys in which spots because there was frustration with Dillingham at times yep. and you said you read the he's sticking with him. 
Well, that's Coach Cal coaching with his gut. And Cal has the depth this year, Ravi. If it's not your night, you're not playing well, just sit. Just sit. It's okay. It's okay. We got other dudes that can handle us on the road. And that's the depth that he has. We've talked about his draft picks coming off that bench. But Coach Cal knows he's got the makings of something special. Are they going to be a one or two seed in the NCAA tournament? Which is very important. I think only four out of the past since 2000 national champions weren't a one or a two seed. Yeah. UConn was yep. three of them. But I would hate to see Kentucky in my bracket as a one seed when that thing's released here in a couple of weeks. They, their, their talent level is undeniable, and they are getting better at the right time of the year. It's interesting you brought up Connecticut. There are a lot of folks in the college basketball world who look at the UConn team from last year very similarly to the way they look at this Kentucky team. Remember, Connecticut went into the tournament rising. They were a four seed when they won the whole thing, but it all started to come together mid-February, obviously through March, where they won every tournament game by double figures. A lot of people think that's what's happening with Kentucky right now. And they break the press, and Shepard has the ball, and will dribble until he gets fouled by Hubbard. A really slick out-of-bounds play by Kentucky to throw it along the baseline and then get Shepard cutting who and He got multiple guys that can close you out from the free throw line, but a trusted handle high IQ kid is Shepard Reed Shepard has 26 points. He has taken two free throws made them both And he's now three for three the kid from London, Kentucky Mom and dad were superstars at Kentucky here is the resume for Coach Calipari's team as they look for their 20th win of the season. Be their sixth quad one victory. Lenardi said, I read today, where if they get a win tonight, they're going to likely be on the four seed line. Well, this thing's not over. If you're Kentucky, again, your pickup point on Hubbard, just to nine the ball. If you're Antonio Reeves right now, do not let Hubbard even get the ball back. Matthews all the way to the basket, up and in, and he's why? got a chance. Ravi for a three-point play. Onyenso came in, Onyenso's about to come out. You've got to understand the game of basketball if you're Onyenso. If he makes it two, so be it. If you're going to foul, don't even let to get the ball up on the rim, but you did exactly what Mississippi State needed to happen. There's no correct answer by Onyenso when he walks off the floor. So a four-point game, 28 seconds left. And Cameron Matthews, who's a 56% free throw shooter on the season, is at the line. Tolu Smith trying to get position away from Vonamir. Free throw is good. Shepard dribbling, precious seconds off the clock. Dangerous pass, picked off, and they call a foul against Kentucky. Tolu Smith went to get it. They get Reeves with a foul. And that's a rare mistake from Shepard on that pass. A long, lazy, in the air, too long pass by Shepard. He's got a lot of heat on him. Antonio Reeves just no match. That's like the two defensive backs and a wide receiver going up for it, and the bigger defensive back comes down. It all started with a play by Onyenso, and now Tolu Smith, can he make free throws? Has struggled his entire career. One of four tonight. Got that one to go. Sean Murphy into the game. Sean Jones Jr. out. Remember, Cal has two timeouts to work with if Kentucky gets in a trouble spot. Smith is able to knock down the second a one-point game. Shepard will get fouled by Cam Matthews. Not sure if Jans wanted that. I don't think he did because he had Reed Shepard back dribbling with pressure on him and putting Shepard in a position he was going to have to make another very difficult pass but the reach in bails him out Matthews has fouled out with his fifth so 
Ravi, if, if Kentucky makes these two free throws, they're up three, but there's still 16 seconds to go. Yep. It's too early to foul intentionally. There's too much time left. You're gonna have to trust your defense right now. And for some reason, that, that clock gets down to that five second range. Now you've got a chance to do it if you've worked on it, but right now you've got to hit these two key free throws and then come back and make sure Hubbard right there in white cannot dribble into a three-point shot and tie it up. Eighty-one percent from the line on the season. He has been perfect tonight. Reed Shepard. He has been built for these moments his entire Kentucky life growing up. 29 points for Shepard. If you're Mississippi State, you go for two quick ones here? Absolutely. And unless Hubbard can, you know, get freed off of some type of a dribble handoff action into a ball screen, he's so good and so quick getting it off. But for Kentucky right now, you can't foul early right now. There's 16 seconds left. Hubbard has six threes in the game, which ties a career high. On Yenso, it's back in for Kentucky. You can't let Hubbard get it back right now if you're Reeves. Well, he's got and it. He did. And he will shoot it. And he did. And he buried it and to tie it. Seven free of the night. Chance for Kentucky. Shepard. He hits it. There are no seconds left on the clock. Is that going to be it? The officials will look to make sure there is no time left. If there's not, Reed Shepard has won the game with a buzzer beater. There will be a review for potential time on the clock after the shot goes through the net. Rabbi Josh Hubbard did exactly what he had to do. Antonio Reeves lets him get it back, and he's too good. And nothing but the bottom, and Cal doesn't call a timeout, lets his guys go, and it's Reed Shepard with a tough, tough 15-foot floater. 0 0.5 will be put on the clock. We just heard State's the officials. There will be 0 0.5 on the clock. It's when the ball clears the net, and they say it's 0 0.5. So there is time for a catch and a shot by Mississippi State right now. Three tenths or less, it has to be a tip. And Josh Hubbard is a small target to try to get it to in a length of the court pass. Everything about that shot, though, from Reed Shepard yep. was under control. Absolutely. You cannot make him play a speed that he doesn't want to play at. He's got 32 tonight. Yeah, you, you got to back those camera guys up as far as you can for the passer because you got a 7-2 guy on you. This thing has to go to the other end. There it comes, and wouldn't you know it, in the hands of the hero tonight, Shepard. Kentucky on the road, a monster victory, 91-89, and an incredible second-half push. The freshman Reed Shepard has the best game of his Kentucky career. 32 points, a shot with .5 to go, seven assists. Well, a Shepard boy shall lead him. And for Reed Shepard in Starkville, it comes in the form of a running 15-footer ball game. For Marty Smith, Jimmy Dykes, and our entire crew, thanks so much for watching. Kentucky, a winner, 91-89. College basketball continues right here.